Hi, this is Arjun Iyer putting for Kids First, and today I'll be reviewing Stan and Ollie. Stan and Ollie is a superb biopic about the famous comedy duo. Great casting and a direction make for a very informative and entertaining romp. Anyone looking for an outstanding better biopic, or let alone a wonderful movie, will want to watch this. The movie follows the famous Laurel and Hardy duo as they set out to tour Britain in 1953. However, years have passed since their heyday of being Hollywood kings as they face an un and they face an uncertain challenge because of such. They do find su success obtaining their long lost charm and even reconnecting with the most ardent of fans. The tour even finds success until Stan and Ollie can't quite shake their disagreements and Ollie's health starts failing. They are aware that this may very well be their last show, but amid that, they go through a journey and re rediscover how much their brotherly bond means. To service this well-written story, the, the cast absolutely does justice. The big stars, John C. Riley and Steve Coogan, as Stan and Ollie, being my favorite characters as they bring great heart to this story. The two share a... a, a the two share a realistic chemistry and bring out the best with their spot-on theater perf theater performances. Same goes with their with their wives, L Lucille Hardy and Ida Laurel, played by Shirley Hend Henderson and Nina Ariyanda, who equally sell their disagreements and sisterly love alike. The duo. Shirley, in particular, shines with her emotionally charged rea reactions to her husband's health. My favorite scene, of course, has to be the final concluding scene that proved to be an epic ending to the tour and was very touching, showcasing the true power of friendship and the importance of the duo in, comedic in, in the history of comedy. It was a perfect end to this truly poetic tale. We has a great message in friend friendship being a force that can outweigh all challenges and even the test of time. Of course, I did have some minor flaws with with the way time is presented in the movie as it shifts from past to pr to an almost present sort of state, and it can prove slightly confusing to audiences watching the movie. This I will give this otherwise absolutely wonderful biopic a 4.5 out of 5 stars, and the age range would be from a 7 to 18 due to some brief language and smoking. This is Arjun I putting for Kids First. Thanks for watching. What time is it now? Hold this. Do we really need that trunk?